let's record on this okay we're going i think we're yeah we're recording and we're on facebook and uh, everything should be uh, just fine i guess i suppose i was doing some stuff and then i just suddenly realized it was time to go on the air <laughs> uh, alex you idiot anyway let's see here let's bring in these people let's admit all of them uh as we go out uh there we go there's uh let's oh we got len lafrisco he's uh on vacation uh we got charlie wallace he's back home as usual vernon nunn is are you in a hotel room there no i'm in a condo wait a minute I can, oh i gotta turn you guys up what i'm in a condo in a condo yeah now, where are you exactly where is that condo uh, the condo is uh, about 10 miles west of uh, Mount Jackson, Virginia. Oh, okay. Are you on vacation? Yeah, I'm spending two weeks here every fall. Oh, good. It's very nice. And there's Paula. There's our old friend, Paul Levin. Hello. And uh, Marjorie Miller. Let's see here. Let me go admit all. Uh, admit her. Uh, because if I don't admit her, she'd get very mad at me, you know. And uh, somehow we had, oh, there's Mandy, okay, and Mandy O'Brien, uh, she's simply, both of them have to turn their cameras on, and we'll be, uh, we'll be set to go here. Marjorie, are you there? I'm here, can you hear me? Turn your camera on. Okay. Yeah. Oh, there we go, there and Mandy, go. turn your camera on. Are you there, Mandy? Hmm. Oh, Ooh. wow. Well, hello, Edward Berger. How uh, are you? Oh, here, good, here, good, here, good. here comes Admit All. Okay, I'll admit those. Okay, here comes, uh, there's Mandy. Oh, she's in a, are you in a car, Mandy? Hi. You in a car? Yeah, I, I actually I accidentally pressed the no audio button first. Oh, I, <laughs> so I had to go out. And uh, and somehow you're on another thing here. If I disconnect you, call right back here. But I I think oh there we go. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Uh, and 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 Rick Sheckman. Hello, Hello Rick. Hello Ben. Yes, he he got his uh, his uh, Zoom <laughs> working this week. Yay! Yay! But <laughs> I still still don't have your Wi-Fi working, right? No. Ooh. I'll work yeah. on that this week. You haven't called the people I told you to call or to write to? No, or... I was busy. Oh, come on. It'd take, it'd, take you, it'd take you 15 minutes to get this solved. So I'm going to go to Verizon and let them solve it. Uh, oh, okay. You know, although I'm trying to remember if those Verizon stores, you know, the Verizon stores they have, if they solve those problems there. Well, I'll find out. Because <laughs> nobody wants to deal with the public anymore, right? You know, if you if you go to Verizon online, uh, can you call? Hey, do you have a number you can call? Not really. You you have to really dig to find a number. And if you don't, and if you try to find the number, you you have to chat with them. And then the chat is amazingly slow and laborious and dull, and nobody does anything. It's ridiculous, just ridiculous. But well, that's why I was busy on Saturday. Oh, I see. Okay, okay. I didn't want to deal with it. I know. I know you didn't want to deal with it. Old Alex is going to have to come out to your house and do it for you. I think it might just be registering. Could be just be something simple as that. Yeah, no, I think it's it's a, if you if you can go on to Verizon, you can change your 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 uh, password and on your Wi-Fi, and then you'll be for good to go. So, you know. Well, we'll get to it. As I said to you on Saturday, I'm able to do what I need to do, so I'm in no hurry. Yeah. To deal with it. Yeah, yeah, and you know, you're getting a good picture. You're going out over the phone system is what you're doing. Yes. Yeah. So anyway, so uh, anyway, uh, and Len, where are you right now? Uh, Newport, Rhode Island. Newport, Rhode Island. Oh, you're just up the yeah. up, up the way from us here. Yeah, not too far. Yeah. yeah. 
Yeah, pretty. Yeah. Kind of oh. a foggy day. But... Yeah, it's rainy down here. You know. Yeah, we went went to our wedding on Saturday. That was lovely, and uh, we're uh, cruising up through Rhode Island next day or two, and then back into Connecticut and back home um, next weekend. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Sounds like sounds like a nice vacation. Absolutely. Yeah. The best part was coming to see you, Alex. I had yeah, a really did nice you, time. Did you rent a car? Oh, yes, of course. And how much does it cost to rent a car these days? I got a really good deal. Um, let's see, from the 19th to the 31st the, to the 30th was $422. That's not bad. I think I paid for uh, three days a couple of years ago. I paid 300 although I found out I could pay cheaper if I took out a week. Yes. That's then in three true. days. And if I took out a week, I just maybe say we go up to see our friends for three days and then we drive around, you know, in, in upstate yeah. uh, around Vermont and places like that. Oh, by the way, you're probably going to hear some noise out here because they've been they were still working on the building and they're working late today. Did you oh, notice, Marjorie, they were working and it was raining? Well, it was raining when I left this morning and they were working. Yeah. All of a sudden, they're working on rainy days. So. Well, it wasn't real rain. It was like a misty rain. Mis misty. It was drizzly. I was just outside. It was drizzly. You mean annoying rain? Annoying rain. Yeah. What I call it is non-rhythmic uh, uh, rain, where it goes, instead of going, which is okay, it goes, boop. <laughs> and that drives me nuts, especially because I'm bald. Oh, jeez. And that's why I wear a cap. Uh, Edward, do you wear a cap because you're bald? Uh, I just like I just like wearing them, kind of like Norman Lear. You know, he always yeah. wears hats. <laughs> the only difference being he's a gazillionaire and you're yeah, not. I'm right. That's yeah. it. Yeah, a little a little difference there. Yeah. And where are you driving, Mandy? Where what is what is the reason you're not at your office? Um, on vacation, I went to um, the beach. Oh, Thursday. really? Oh, I went right. with my friend. They were going to a wedding, and yeah. so I kind of tagged along with them to the wedding. Didn't know the people, but that's okay. Yeah, wedding crash. It was a very, that was. It was a very <laughs> nice wedding. Yeah, but we were near we were near the beach in Alabama, so that's yeah. where I was at. What was the wedding we went to, Shecky? That was uh, for one of the Letterman people, and it was, it was, how can we pull it? It was, it was glamorous. Mm. It was glamorous, and I was drunk. Yeah. <laughs> and guess who became the designated driver? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but no, but you, you. Well, they had, had a vodka bar. Huh? They oh, had, nice. They had a vodka bar. They had a wedding. vodka bar. But the, also the food was just, I remember it as being sensational. Yeah. You know, in fact, there was a lot of food before the actual <laughs> meal. So that by the time mm -hmm. you got to the actual meal, you weren't hungry anymore. Yeah, they had, yeah. A, they had a cocktail hour after the ceremony while they took pictures. It oh, okay. was all outside at the bride's parents' house. It was gorgeous. They had all these big oak trees. It was very Southern. Good time for the Very. new husband to get really drunk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, so I, I, um, I got something today, and it, get, it get really bothered me. Uh, I saw a notice that Apple TV, which I subscribed to just because, like, when I got an uh, Apple phone or something, they gave me three months, and I just kept doing it. And at $4.99 a month, I figured, eh, what the hell? You know, how bad can it be? It It's kind of mediocre. I mean, of all the services, I think it has the least to offer. Okay. Cool. So, um, but I just kept subscribing to them. What is it? Five bucks a month? Come on, it's pocket change, right? The only trouble <laughs> is all of these are pocket change. And by the time you're through... <laughs> You 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 bet the farm on these things. Yeah, they anyway, they, they've got the nerve, Apple Plus, which has nothing to they're going up two dollars a month. <laughs> yeah. What are you out of here? So just on general purpose for general uh, on, on, what's the word I'm looking for? Principle. Uh, principle. On principle, I'm just gonna drop them. I I you know, 
they may as well learn that you you want to jump it up two dollars. I mean, if they jump jumped it up a dollar, I don't I don't think I w- would have bothered, you know. But two dollars that you know to begin with, they're only five dollars to begin with. So if two dollars, it's a forty percent increase yeah. right? for something that's giving you nothing. What's your experience with dropping a, a service? I, I'm always hesitant to get some of these uh, some of these. Uh, um, um, services because I'm afraid that the, um, if I want to cancel it, they'll give me a hard time. So is, is that true? Then, or- no, they're not going to give you a hard time. Oh. They don't even know it. I mean, you, you do it online and say goodbye. I don't want it anymore. Oh, is that, you, you, just, you just do that? that yeah. That's, oh, yeah. That? yeah. Here, here, here's what some people do, and it, it's really a smart thing to do, is let's say, oh, I want to get HBO Max, because it's got House of Dragons, which is a mediocre show at best. But anyway, uh, but you want it for that. So you subscribe to HBO Max and watch House of Dragons. And when the 10 weeks is over, you drop HBO Max. And maybe now you see Netflix has something. So you sign up for Netflix. And when you've seen all of that or all the things you want to on Netflix, you've eaten all their menu, so to speak. Uh, you just drop them, go to the next one, go to Disney Plus. And that works. Yeah, you you sign on and off of these things. The only thing is when you sign on, you're signed on for a month. Okay. So, you know, you've got to get a month's worth. So if you go over to Netflix, I'm sure if you were Marjorie, you could watch all the movies you needed to watch. And you drop Netflix for, you know, a while. I would drop Netflix in a second because I just don't like the way they're doing business these days. You know. Yeah, I was thinking about Hulu because there were a couple of movies that I wanted to watch. Hulu's Hulu. really good. Uh-huh. Yeah, I like Hulu. In fact, the best it. package in the business is the Disney ESPN Plus uh, Hulu package. Now, I don't like I don't like sports, but Marjorie watches tennis on H on ESPN Plus. So, really, for twenty bucks a month, I get all three of those, and and they're really, I mean, Disney. Does some very good stuff, and Hulu is incredibly good. Hulu is the best, probably better than Netflix. I like Hulu. Everybody's today these days is saying they like Hulu. Yeah. Rick, have you watched yeah. much Hulu? Oh yeah, Hulu's great. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, uh, and HBO Max I get because God, I've always had my HBO. Come on, you know who hasn't? But what are they running now? Well, I mean, um, there is some good stuff on HBO Max. I mean, there's the John Stewart, and that's John Stewart, John Oliver, and there's uh, Bill Maher, which Marjorie likes, and uh, there's that sports show, that HBO sports show they have, which is terrific. And I, I've been watching House of Dragons, even though I, I found it to be well, last the night's season, episode the was pretty is good. Over. So you don't have to watch it for yeah, it's, it's done. That was the season finale. Yeah. It, last night's was pretty good. The rest of the show I haven't liked that much. You know, I sit there watching it going, is this episode ever going to be over with? <laughs> you know. Or can you turn the flashlight on? Yeah, well, they had the episode so they had the, up, up, uh, the episode where <laughs> where uh the uh, king dies. And he takes an hour and a half to fucking die. Forever. Yeah, forever. Like, get it over with. I, I actually sped through that episode to see him die really fast. You know? Um, but, uh, you know, some of these people are getting rid of Peacock can't get viewers to save their lives. They've only got, I say only because you've got to compare this to the rest of them. They've only got 15 million subscribers to Oh, let's look at Netflix, 220 million. Let's look at Disney. Um, Disney is 165 million. Um, so, you know, all of these are, uh, you know, uh, it, it's the Peacock's doing terrible. I think they should combine with somebody else. Combine with TV, with uh, Apple TV, and I'll pay you 10 bucks a month for the two of them. Well, what does Peacock give you? Isn't it just NBC shows? It's NBC shows, Universal movies. Uh, there are some originals, you know. But who cares? You know, who cares? Uh, 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 and I have Paramount Plus because I kind of like it. 
You know, mm-hmm. there's some things occasionally there. Uh, the Star Trek stuff I like. Uh, the, uh, um, you know, I can watch Young Sheldon the next day and um, um, what do you call it? Ghost. But you can watch Ghost. that on Hulu. Uh, no, you can't mm-hmm. watch it on Hulu. No. no, it's not on Hulu. No, Mm-mm. no, young. Uh, um, what is it? A couple of them, like for instance, HBO Max, for instance, because it's Warner's, puts a lot of Warner shows up there. Like Big Bang Theory is there, yeah. but it's not on the CBS because they've already sold it to to uh, to uh, uh, or, or it's already been taken by Disney for Hulu. So not Hulu, but wait a minute. Where did HBO I say well, Max. HBO Max. HBO yeah. Max yeah. So, I mean, a lot of these shows they don't do uh, because they don't own them. Yeah, you know? go buy a box set of the Big Bang Theory if you care that much. About I don't it. want the box set of the Big Bang Theory. <laughs> <laughs> I said if. No, but I mean, I can I can go over to HBO Plus and I can watch every Big Bang Theory that if I want to watch it. You know? okay. And then yeah, but you uh, pay twenty bucks a month to watch it. Well, there's, but there's other stuff there yeah, on HBO. Max. Stuff. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it, HBO Max is very rich with stuff. I mean, they got all the Warner Brothers cartoons. You know, that's something you would watch, right? Although you've seen all of them already. <laughs> but uh, mm-hmm. you know what? Nobody's carrying. Nobody's carrying the MGM cartoons. Well, that would be HBO Max if they wanted to carry them. Yeah, but I mean, because uh, Warner owns all the old uh, MGM cartoons, right? Yeah. Which well, why don't they those? put them on? Why don't they put them on HBO Max? There are a lot of. Gr- I mean, we had a wonderful cartoonists over there by the name of Ch- uh, Tex Avery, who mm-hmm. just did wonderful stuff. Yeah. Um, in yeah, fact, but I think they still sell it. Well, they still sell them. I mean, you can always. No, but I mean, them. they're still on TV for kids, right? They're on that 8 a.m. show that's, and I can't think of the name of the service. The one that's hosted by some guy in a puppet. Some guy in a puppet on a cartoon network? Who would have thought that would have been? Uh, <laughs> I gave up more than 20 years ago. Yeah. <laughs> But uh, anyway, I, all I'm saying is the nerve of Apple to raise their mediocre service two dollars a month. I mean, they're already dying on the vine. Do they want to lose more people? And didn't you say they were having advertisements? Oh no, that's Disney. Disney will allow you to buy Disney Plus soon with ads. But the trouble with buying, you know, you can say, well, you know, I watch regular television; it has commercials. Yeah, but you record it. And then you play it back and you zip through the commercials, right? Whereas if you go online to Disney Plus and you want to watch The Mandalorian, but you want to take commercials, you can't speed up through those commercials. You have to watch those commercials. Mm -hmm. Now, this is a great thing for the advertisers who don't have to worry anymore about, you know, uh, uh, having people zip through their commercials like they would on a recorded show from television. So I don't know. You know, I just I just think it's a lot of nerve on the part of uh, Apple TV. They get think. rid of them. Hmm? They get That's rid of it do. and be done with it. That's what I'm going to do on general purposes. And I'm going to I'm going to write them and say I've quit because two dollars. Your, your service ain't worth another two dollars a month. You know, you've gotten out of the realm of pocket change. OK. Two, five dollars is pocket change. And guess what? They're not going to give a damn. That's exactly they're right. Well, well, they may give a damn, but they're not doing that well. You know. Jack, move your hands. Yeah, Shecky, your hands are in the way. Oh, oh wait a minute! Put your hands back up. Why would it be on So anyway, so that that was that 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 that's been what has been griping me today. The best joke of the week, though, did you watch the new Doctor Who, Rick? No. Oh, there's a new Doctor Who out, you know. Oh. Oh, yeah. (laughs) And at the very end, she goes through the transition that most doctors go through when the new doctor is taking over. 
and she's on top of the TARDIS, which is the call box, the police call box, with flames shooting out of her hands. I mean, it's one of the most spectacular uh, uh, metamorphoses that have ever taken place on Doctor Who. And when she finally turns into whatever she turns into, she's David Tennant, (laughs) who was a former Doctor Who, probably the most popular former Doctor Who. Uh, and uh, and then that series, I stayed, that, that series always freaks me out, Doctor Who. That's, that's like, a, that's like why, a weird. Why, why does it freak you out? I, I haven't seen much of it, but uh, and I know that the, the the person that you just mentioned is the first female Doctor Who, right? She sucked. No. She sucked. She the one horrible. now is the. Fe- oh really? I think she's okay. I just think nobody wants a female Doctor Who. I didn't that's watch a... it because of her. I mean, yeah. I did watch the whole time she was on. Not yeah. Bad, huh? Yeah, I didn't think she was terrible. I thought the scripts were terrible. I thought that it was a badly run show. But anyway, they're getting back the original guy who did the the original rebirth of Doctor. He, he's Russell, excellent. I Russell, know David Tennant is good. Well, Russell T Davies, who ran uh, the show during that period of time, is back now doing the shows. And so, anyway, the new supposedly Doctor Who is, or the Doctor is uh is is david tennant and then at the end they run the credits and blah blah blah. and they had a lot of the old people who were doctors as well on that episode i didn't watch the whole thing just the end i wanted to see the change and at the very end it says and david and introducing david tennant as the doctor (laughs) i thought that was clever you know um, what is that? BBC America? I, not, I it's BBC where. America here. Yeah, but it's also, you know, where you can get it. So, yeah. Um, uh, it, it, that, that was one of my little pleasures. Uh, now, what is that that you're holding up there, Mandy? Is that yeah, road food? Is that road gonna, food? That, it is, uh, yes. Got it at Bucky's, which is a very southern convenience store. I know. Um, but have you, have you heard of Bucky's? Of what? Bucky's. A, Buc- a Bucky's? Yeah, I've heard of Bucky's. Yeah. Okay. I that mean, we don't Bucky's have a Bucky's up here, but I've heard about Bucky's in recent years. It's become very popular down down in the south. Wait a minute, you're you're, you're frozen and you're breaking up. We can't. There we go. Now, we, okay. What were you gonna? <laughs> These are really good. These are good. These are good gummy bears if you like them. What are they called? I can't Albanese, read. Albanese, and you have to get the. I know it's backwards. They're Albanese gummy bears, but they're really, really good. Ultimate. Yeah. You like gummy bears? I mean, I'm not. Yeah. I'm not a gummy bear person, but my friend told me about them in the break. Yeah. So, well, yeah. I have just making uh, a recommendation. Well, I have probiotic gummy bears that I eat. I have oh, marijuana yeah. gummy bears. What? I have marijuana gummy bears. Yes. Why, <laughs> why is it? Why is it? Why, why is it that everything you would ingest as a pill is now a gummy bear as well? Because it makes it enjoyable. Yeah. Well, I don't know. I mean, I I, I take pills. They're not unenjoyable. You just swallow the goddamn things. I know. But, but I mean, I'm getting my vitamins this morning. How a gummy bear? That's how yeah. I used to get my kids to take their vitamins. They yeah. they had gummy vitamins. <laughs> we, we Marjorie had some gummy vitamins. I have gummy probiotics. Uh, they they have gummy everything. You know, probably you know, probably gummy Pepto Bismol. I don't know, <laughs> this yet, but I'm sure now that I've I've uh, talked about it, it is. You know what I decide I want to do? I want to. This is the mean part of me and Shecky will like this because Shecky was griping to me the other day that he's a little tired of all these Broadway shows that say oh it's the black death of a salesman oh it's the black this or it's the black that and how it makes death of a salesman any better and wouldn't it be better and more uh, and terrific if say Willie Loman the salesman was played by a black guy but the his wife was played by a white woman Right. Um, so no. I don't understand all of this. So I've decided that what I want to do is I want to start a rumor that they're ready to mount on Broadway, a white version of Raisin in the Sun. 
where would they be, you know, and not welcome in a neighborhood? Well, yeah, they could be a black white person moving into a black neighborhood. Okay. It wouldn't work. Well, who cares? Neither does death of a salesman with nothing but a black cast. That works. I hear, they're, I but hear it's a good cast. I still don't want to see it, but I hear they're good. Oh, I'm sure they're terrific. I mean, you can get the best. They're incredible black actors today. You can go out and, you you know, you you, you, you can throw a rock and you can hit a good black actor. You know, I mean, they're that plentiful. But nevertheless... I think about it and I think about how do you go about casting that and being PC? Because if you go, well, we're looking to cast a black version of Death of a Salesman. We're only seeing black actors. Now, if I said we're doing uh, such and such and we only want white actors, people would go crazy. Mm -hmm. Well, what about 1776? Oh, they're doing 1776 on Broadway with a black cast. No, a female a cast, female a transgender cast. cast at the moment. A, a, a female transgender cast doing 1776. <laughs> Is there a reason for that? Yes, because they were excluded. I mean, George Washington, one of the famous transgenders, you know, he wears the wig <laughs> all the time. <laughs> These blousy kind of things here, you know, yeah, yeah. Wore wigs, yeah. <laughs> now you see, I didn't for some reason I didn't mind what they did with Hamilton because Hamilton was done with what basically hip hop music or rap music, right? So it kind of fit to have a a, a a you know a black cast, although the Hamilton wasn't played by a black guy; it was played by a Puerto Rican. You know, uh, I I, don't, I never found that a problem. You know, because it was an experimental kind of theater. But simply saying we're going to do an all-female 1776, I'm sorry. It just doesn't work. It, it, you could pick almost any number of other things and say we're going to do transgender or whatever, and it would work. But 1776, about our founding fathers. white <laughs> <laughs> Man thing. Huh? <laughs> who, who said so, oh pam thinks you're crazy <laughs> i'm crazy yeah and you oh, know i mean the reality is whatever they don't whatever they like and you're used to not liking it well it's i'm a, not buying a ticket to it well, of course course not. Not. it's supposed to be better tickets to, to, to theater quickly because it's going to be casinos soon yeah, that's the other problem in New York. Have you heard about this? Idea. They have decided casinos in Times Square. Oh, is it wow. still happening? Yeah, I yeah. Saw oh, that it's still happening. It is happening. I mean, they're yeah. taking bids. They're going to open up one casino. Of course, you know, if they open one casino, you got to have three. You're going to wind up having five, 10, right? <laughs> but they say what it's going to do is it's going to kill the theaters. It is. They're going to move in. They're going to have all their big money to buy real estate up. They'll buy up the theaters, turn them into casinos, and you won't have much theater going on on Broadway because of the casinos. No, you'll have you'll have the theater in the casinos. They'll have they'll have the shows and they'll put them on. Yeah, like, but they'll have to Vegas. they'll have to be forty five minutes long so they can get you back out to the casino like they do in <laughs> Vegas. Yeah. yeah, the shows in Vegas are quite short. Most of the time. I did not know that. You know, unless unless you're unless it's somebody like Britney Spears or somebody. And I didn't even know how long her show was. Yeah, yeah, but she's not doing a Broadway type show. She's doing a music show, singing. Yeah, but she can do a 45 minute show and everybody was, oh, I, I saw Britney Spears. Right. But uh, if you're doing a Broadway show, I'm sorry, you can't you can't then have a casino because the owners are going to want the people in the casinos not watching an all female version of 1776. You know, <laughs> and by the way, if they keep doing stuff like that, the casinos are going to win. Okay, but yeah. um, but they say no. They're talking to uh, like they're that. talking to Caesars is one of the people bidding. Yes, for I, heard huh? I heard Caesars. I, I think they have three licenses. Is what they said. 
Well, they're going to do one for Hudson Yards and one for uh, 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 what do you call Times, Times Square. Square. I mean, if they wanted to open a casino and they wanted to do it in Manhattan, okay, I'll go for that. I, I'm not approving of that. I don't think casinos are a good idea. But if you said, but anywhere but Times Square, anywhere but certain areas which are highly trafficked, Put it in an area where nobody goes that much. Put it in mm. the Bronx. Hell, bring it up to Harlem. You know, Statue of Liberty. Statue of Liberty. But yeah, well, or, or or in some neighborhood. Ellis Island. Oh, Ellis Island. <laughs> well, some 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 neighborhood where after you win all that money and you walk out with it, you get mugged. <laughs> right. I you know your your neighborhood. Hmm? I mean, your, your neighborhood seems safe. You know, I mean, I wouldn't be worried about walking around there. No, but then again, you were walking around in it with me in the, <laughs> middle of the, in the middle of the day. That makes me feel much safer walking. Marjorie, when's the last time you were out late uh, <laughs> in our neighborhood? I don't go out at night. I don't go out, don't go out, I don't go out at night either. I don't know what's out there. I mean, it may be completely safe. It's very noisy, but it could be yeah. completely safe. Hmm. You know. I mean, Harlem has a, is a changed neighborhood. Oh, but the yeah. problem the problem with that is that every time you gentrify a neighborhood, you push the people who are living there out. They can't afford yep. to live here anymore. Yep. And and that's not right, you know. So I, I I'm against kind of against gentrification, especially of this neighborhood. Uh, people act like Harlem was this lost leader in new york city for so many years and the fact is that it had a lot of history and culture and and all kinds of things i remember my dad driving me through the bowery back in the 70s and the guys would come out and wash your windows you know with their filthy rags that's right <laughs> i i once had a woman i took out on a date and i dumped her off in the middle of the bowery at midnight <laughs> Because she started using, she says, you know what I hate about, and then she started using the N-word like crazy. <laughs> and, you know, they're just taking over the neighborhoods and everything. And I'm thinking to myself, now we're going back to my place, and this is a sure bet that I'm going to get laid, but I'm not going to do this. Okay. And she kept going, going. Finally, we stopped at this corner, and this guy is wiping my window. <laughs> and I said, get out Whoa. and i left her in the middle of the bowery oh. you know where she could meet lots of black people you know what i mean <laughs> and i was very proud of myself i i felt good about that for years you know like okay you know i want to get laid but not that badly you wow. know not not in a way that i'm going to sit there and go i gave up my pr principles for the sake of my penis you know so <laughs> anyway but uh, so that's what's happening in New York. You know, we're gentrifying and we're casinos, casino fying. Casinos. What? Casinos are horrible. It just makes my blood turn. Yeah. What? What, Jeff? Uh, turn on your mic. Turn on. Turn on your mic, Jeff. Jeff, turn it on. Before you talk, you got to turn it on. Here he goes. He's going to turn it on. He's <laughs> going to turn it. Am I putting the pressure on you, Jeff? He's going to put it on. There we go. There, there you go. Oh, Everybody, yeah. a little round of applause. Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Isn't there an island right across from Manhattan? Yeah. I think it used to have an old. Well, it's Rikers thing. Island. Rikers Island. <laughs> yeah. No. No, that's great. where. That's where I used to live when I was in trouble. <laughs> no. That's <laughs> <laughs> the stealing cars. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, when he was a kid he stole cars which Not uh, that many. you know um, there's randall's island there's, yeah there's quite a few there's one that that would be, be perfect for the gambling business well there's randall's island all there are right. all those islands out there yeah they could do that well they governor's could, well, island it, is going to have a it, casino it is yeah but, you know, why why Times Square? I mean, God knows Times Square is disgusting enough as it is already. <laughs> you know, they, they took out, it's like a one lane street, okay? So that people can sit out in the middle of the street drinking their lattes. 
you know, and it, it, they, it, don't you feel they ruined New York, Shecky? I mean, with that whole Times Square plan where people are, you know. I, I, I think the sheds that are outdoor restaurants. Oh, oh well, that's the other thing. Yeah. We looked at a couple of them as we, Len was with us the other day. We went out to lunch. And and uh, we looked at a the couple of those sheds. We yeah. looked inside a couple of them. They're storing stuff in them, or there yeah. are rats in there. Yeah. You know, and they don't take them down. They put them up. It was during COVID, and they wanted to save the restaurants, so they allow, they didn't want them in an enclosed area, so they couldn't go into the restaurant. And uh, so they built these sheds, which in most cases are also enclosed. So it makes no sense at all. And then after COVID was over, there's nobody who wants to eat in one of those rat infested sheds, you know, and uh, I was going to go into one person and say, by the way, you still have your shed up and there's nothing going on in there. You don't even have tables in there. You should tear that thing down. Because they take up parking mayor, spaces. What? A wonderful mayor wants to keep them up indefinitely. <laughs> Really? Then he should be forced to eat in one of them. <laughs> no, it's not a nightclub. We're <laughs> 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 well, met open. Yeah, he. But I mean, it it it's terrible. I think that it's time that they tore those sheds down. You know, if somebody's yeah, willing, but that's not going to happen. Or if you're not going to tear the shed down then you got to pay so much money a month for the use of them, of, of the street to put them in. Because you, these things are taking up. I saw one street where there were enough sheds that three quarters of the parking spaces weren't available. In New York City, you could, you need every parking space you can get. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but they don't want cars below 60th Street or whatever it is. You know, it's... They don't want cars below 60th Street? Well, that's where they're going to start charging you 20 bucks to drive south to 60th Street. Wow. It, uh, I never heard this plan. Yeah. yeah. Oh, how'd you miss yes. this one? Brian? The, they, they also have something they've done in, for COVID times, which all these stores, they have like five parking spots out front of their stores that are only for drive up online and they'll you, you pop your trunk and they stick it in yeah and those are still there so when i go to home depot or when i go to a lot of these stores all these all these parking spots up front that nobody uses anymore are unavailable mm -hmm. so okay. that's my grief yeah yeah mm -hmm. i mean it, it we're just COVID's over take this stuff down get back to normal well, I mean, I, I I had nothing against them putting those sheds up because I wanted those restaurants to survive. We have one we go to all the time that we really like. And, uh, you know, they wanted to survive. And this was one of their ways of surviving. Uh, but and a lot of these places have enough room outside to put tables anyway on the sidewalks. Well, they're yeah. the ones that should stay. It's the ones that are in the street that are so. They're just rat catchers. Yeah. They are. I mean, uh, you know, North Beach. North yeah. Beach, San Francisco. Mm -hmm. North Beach has a bunch of them also. And it, it, it's made that area look really bad. A lot of these restaurants, you know, used to hold 40, 50 people inside. And now with the outdoor seating, they've doubled the size of their restaurants, you uh -huh. know, with, for no cost. So exactly. Um, exactly. And yeah. they're not they're not paying for it. They're yeah. not no. paying for it. They are not. Right. And they should, you know. Yeah. Uh I, I I just I don't understand it. Doesn't make sense to me. But well, that's the New York we live in. Because heard, the real estate industry is making money off it. Right. I have heard. You know, I'm from San Francisco, and I always dream about going back to San Francisco, mainly to get away from Marjorie. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, <clears throat> Because as she gets older, I think I deserve a younger chick. But anyway. Oh, uh, on, Alex. It's okay. <laughs> you know what? You may find a younger one, Alex, but you won't find a better one. She's there you go. go. Oh, thank there you. you go. Yeah, but, you know, those guys, better doesn't matter. Anyway, <laughs> uh, no, but I, I, I keep thinking about wanting to go back to San Francisco. I have 
ever since I the last couple of years here in New York, I see no reason to be in New York. Okay. The only Other than a very you, large apartment. Well, yeah. Well, I mean, we got the deal of a lifetime. Okay. Mm -hmm. I think we don't know yet. Knock on wood. Anyway. Uh, but I've been told San Francisco is so bad now that people who've been living there for years and years and years are moving out. Is that true, Brian? Yeah, I mean, the, the homeless situation. So we used to go to uh, Union Square mm -hmm. and park there, and then we would walk to the mall, the San Francisco mall. Mm -hmm. And now we don't even do it because it smells like urine and there's homeless people sleeping everywhere. It's really bad. Yeah. But also people have just said that it's too expensive to live in San Francisco. Oh, it's, yeah, not, of it's not worth it to live in San Francisco. The beauty, yeah. the, the whatever San Francisco had to offer in ambiance and so on is gone. Yeah. You know, so I mean, there. Yeah, but you now have a 24 hour gambling channel on the radio. Uh, was it KGO or one yeah. of them? Uh, yeah. yeah. Where did that become a good idea? You know? There, yeah. Every every sports now, all their commercials are DraftKings. Yes. It's all yep. these all these gambling. Every, everything is gambling now. That's where all the money is. Yeah. You know, and yep. it's like, and you could win a fortune with a 10 player parlay and yep. yeah okay well you know call. something though L let me say this that that they could have stopped that as being a problem by just saying when they allowed certain things in california not to allow gambling things to advertise on radio you know it used to be for years uh, lawyers couldn't advertise on radio. It was or doctors, computer, doctors, or doctors couldn't or advertise alcohol. on. Or alcohol, you couldn't do. You couldn't, yeah, uh, right, alcohol. right, right. Well, why well, not do that with gambling? I think gambling is a very pernicious thing. Oh yeah, but if you have a gambling problem, call one eight hundred XYZ gambling for help. Now and call yeah. us and we'll give you a hundred free dollars. Uh, to <laughs> right. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And we'll type at the bottom. Do you have legalized gambling down in Georgia, Mandy? I know you have legalized idiocy when it comes to people running for political <laughs> office, but. Don't blame me, okay? No, I'm not blaming you. <laughs> um, we have lottery, you know, we got the lottery a long time ago, which that literally paid for my, ch my children's college tuition, so. Oh, okay. I ain't going to. Well, uh, I never, I, for some reason, I never um, bought yeah, yeah, I never minded the lottery. Only uh, the, the only problem I had with it was, as I thought it was a, a form of taxation for the poor. Yeah, you know, uh, that was the. Uh, I mean, but I feel like my ex husband paid so much into it. Every, you know, from the time that before they were born, we got it, and then mm -hmm. he bought lottery tickets every week. So I felt like we paid as much as we would have paid for tuition into it. <laughs> but anyway. Um, no, I don't. I mean, <laughs> can I yeah, ask you this? Um, can I ask like you this? What was the like most? That. What was but, the most but, you ever won in the lottery? Um, I think one time it seems like he won like three hundred dollars or so. I mean, I remember it was, you know, <laughs> you know kind of and a good did amount. It wasn't you to win yeah. How much did you have to spend to win that three hundred dollars? Never, me personally, I never bought a ticket. But I, he did. You know, that was him. How many did know, he buy? That was, oh gosh, I can't even tell you. He would buy 10 tickets a week. Yeah. Okay. To the, you know, when it, when they would have the big mega millions and all, he, I'm sure he still does. Wow. But I just, yeah, that was, that was just his, you know, fun thing to do. I don't know. It seemed like a waste of money to me. Well, but I, again, yeah. and then again, like I said, it pay especially my older my younger daughter she got because zill miller was the governor he's the one that brought the lottery to georgia you know so they actually named the scholarship after him the one that you get when it's 100 percent. Wow. so you have to have a, high, a higher gpa that kind of thing my my older daughter i just had the hope scholarship you just had to have a 3.0 um where she's brilliant but yeah. she had that but i mean it, it paid like 80 percent or something like that yeah um but yeah i mean 
that we still had to pay fees and you know housing and things like that. Well, but, that but that's a great American story. I know. <laughs> that's an amazing American story, which is that the lottery guy, the guy that came, brought the lottery in. Yeah. He was responsible for the scholarship that benefited your kids. You know, that's that's pretty wild. Well, I mean, they just call it, they call it the Zell Miller scholarship. Right, so. right. Well, that was that, you know, that, it's terrific that that guy did something worthwhile yeah. after giving the state something that wasn't so worthwhile, <laughs> you know. Well, I mean, Zell Miller was a Democrat, right? When Zell Miller I, was a I, Democrat? I have no idea. I never heard of him, but, you know. Yeah, he was a, he was a Democrat. He was what I yeah. believe we would call not a, a modern Democrat. He was probably from the old school Democrats. So while you know, we're like he'd here, probably, he'd probably be a Republican now. In other words. While we've got you on, Mandy, please explain why you're voting for Herschel Walker. <laughs> <laughs> because my daughter went to University of Georgia, okay? <laughs> and we vote for our own, you know, he's a dog, you know, he's a bulldog. By the way, let me uh, just, no, you just say he's kidding, okay? <laughs> yeah. You know, you know what's interesting about so. that? I don't want to get political on the show, but mm. but I got to say, are we insane in this country? Yes. I mean, what has yes. happened that, it, you know, usually you had people running for political office and they were the best people you could find. Mm. Oh, look, it's Joe Biden just joined us. Anyway, yes. <laughs> uh, um, and all of a sudden, We've got all these morons running for office. I mean, you can make more money doing other things than being a politician, other than stealing yeah. money. Yeah. We've yeah, but always Herschel had we've always had morons running for office. It's just that they're more they're better publicized these days. But you know, there's always been you know people put well, up. I, that I just don't understand a Herschel Walker. I don't understand in in Pennsylvania a, a, a Dr. Oz uh, uh, because he doesn't even live. In Pennsylvania, I mean, maybe he has. Well, an apartment. apparently Herschel Walker didn't live in Georgia. Like, apparently Herschel Walker was living in Texas. I thought. Yeah, he was so in maybe Texas that was for years. So it's like it was just a pawn. He's just a pawn. Well, I mean, he had to they go they back. It, look, if he tried to, if he tried to run for political office in Texas, nobody would have paid attention to him. Okay, mm -hmm. but in in Georgia, where he was a hero because he, he you know, damaged his brain playing football hey. for. Georgia. He won the national championship for them uh, 45 years ago. Like, oh, it wasn't really? even recently. It was, yeah. you know, a generation ago. Yeah. Well, how yeah. anybody, it, you know, I mean, I, I, it looks like probably he won't win, but he should really lose by a large margin if people <laughs> were voting for somebody who was confident. Okay. There's a new. Well, supposedly, a, new a poll showed that undecided. Go ahead. Yeah, go ahead, Mandy. Go ahead, Mandy. I think she froze. Oh, there's, there's a. I was going to say there was a poll. There was a poll that said that undecideds were going for him two to one. God. Like, is that amazing? Are you kidding? Is that amazing? We can have an upset. Oh, they saw, no, they saw no. him playing the football. You know. Yeah. Jeez. Yeah. There, there's amazing. a main mission. And he just a made her become governor of Minnesota years ago. He wrestled. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And I'm saying to anybody who's listening to me from anybody who's listening to me from Pennsylvania right now, it's better to have somebody who's had a stroke and is seriously brain damaged than Dr. Oz. Okay. <laughs> so, I agree. So there, uh, there's hey, a what's, meme. what's Brian's meme? Go ahead, meme. Brian. There, there's a meme. <laughs> Of uh, there's a meme of Herschel Walker holding a Burger King, uh, you know the Burger King uh, yeah. crown, and he says, "Look, now I'm a king." <laughs> <laughs> He's also a sheriff. <laughs> oh, brother! Well, they called him out. You know, they did call him out during that debate, saying that he, you yeah. know, the moderator he said, "You're not supposed to have a prop." Put yeah. it away, yeah. and he didn't do it. Nice. Yeah. Oh, this is this is a badge. This is in a prop. <laughs> it, it looks like, look like one of those badges you buy when you get those uh, cowboy outfits. Yeah, yeah. Well, I don't know the hmm. Supposedly, 
but supposedly he's had the, I guess the law enforcement officer or the sheriff come and like make a commercial or make something with him showing like this is, yes, he is a legitimate, like I've appointed him a deputy, you know, some bullshit. But he was um, an honorary deputy. Yeah. Right. I, the, song, uh, the song doesn't go, I shot the sheriff, but I didn't shoot the honorary deputy. <laughs> <laughs> Because he was he won the Heisman Trophy in 1980. Oh boy! Yeah. Yeah. Well, anyway, it's it's a crazy world we live in. Casinos in Times Square, yeah. Herschel Walker in Georgia, Doctor Oz in Philadelphia. Where else is it crazy right now? Oh, Arizona's nuts. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Arizona is just out of their minds. What about Nevada? Yeah. Nevada's not in very good shape either. What about Texas? <laughs> How about most of the country? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know, I, I hate to say this, but I, I many and I, many times I do say this to myself, and I'll ask Marjorie this too. Mm. Is New York the only sane state when it comes to elections? We had Bill de Blasio. We had de Blasio, but you know something? If it were a vote now between de Blasio and the guy we've got, who would you take? <laughs> the guy who goes to nightclubs all every night. No, but who would you who would you vote for if it were between de Blasio and him? Well, him, but that's because you don't have a choice. Well, anyway, I think that I, you know, de Blasio was not not a great mayor, but I don't think he's as bad as this one. You know, this one just uh, this guy doesn't pay attention to doing business. Oh, did you hear about the Hasidim in uh, in Brooklyn at the at the the uh, what's the school? What do they call it? Uh, the uh, Troyem or whatever. Uh, no, there's a, uh, a Hasidic school in Brooklyn and they just had to pay back something like one hundred and seventy million dollars in fines and so on because oh, they were because they were cheating on money they got. They said they were buying oh school God. lunches for kids, and they weren't. They were, like, lining their own pockets. Oh, Yikes. Well, what do they call it? People that manage this building that we're in. Yeshiva. Uh, 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 uh. Huh? Yeshiva. The yeshiva. Oh. yeshiva. Yeah, it's the yeshiva, the big yeshiva out in Brooklyn, where it has 2,000 students, yeah. none of which get lunch. You know, so. Ooh, I just got a text that said, President Obama is coming to Atlanta, Amanda. And it's like telling sending me a link to donate or something. Like, oh, yeah. Donate. Of course. Wait a minute. Why do they I want you to? Much, I wonder how much those tickets are going to be. Uh, why do they want you to donate so you can give you a fare to get them there or something or what? I guess it's a fundraiser, yeah, obviously. Fair. He is probably um, the only ex president I would turn out to see. That's what I'm yeah. saying. I wish I could go see him, honestly. I yeah. would. I mean, it's a nice, pleasant evening to spend, you know? Yes. Yeah. Mandy, are you driving? Are you driving? Yes, Which, I'm driving. What, what direction? What with direction my are you invisible, driving? With my invisible. Why don't, you both, why don't you both start heading towards each other? Yeah, well, here you go. We west, just hit traffic. <laughs> <laughs> well, my, my friend Rosemary is driving right now, and I'm in the back seat. Oh, no, really? I'm not driving. Oh, I, um, oh okay. <laughs> Did you think I was driving this whole time? Well, show us, show us, no, show us no, your friend, no, show us your no, friend no. driving. Y'all yeah. wave. There, there she is. Uh, there they are. <laughs> now I go see. west. Drive west. We are go. We are driving east. We are oh. on the, the. We are on the Atlanta perimeter, and now we are in traffic. That's it what I love. You know, that's what I love about the internet. We had this guy call from uh, Malaysia the other night. And he was driving yeah. in a was riding in a bus, and he we had pointed out the window, showing us Malaysia through the whole trip. Nice. I mean, nice. but it, it was just as clear as if I, yeah. it was me here. You know, mm -hmm. it just yeah. uh, that's that's the part about mm -hmm. living today yeah. better. And of course, women who try to look like Joe Biden. So anyway, <laughs> those are aviator glasses, aren't they? <laughs> oh, you talking about mine? Yeah. No. They're, they're, no, they're, oh, God, you got really close to that. They're like 90s to me. They're like a 90s throwback. Uh -huh. They're not aviators. They're oh, just, okay. Who's oh. laughing? Who's laughing at me? <laughs> what do I know about aviator glasses anyway? So, 
you know. The glare was a lot. Yeah. Um, so anyway, anything you're watching, Shecky, we should know about? I don't think so. Oh, okay. <laughs> you usually always have something you're watching. I just spilled tea on me. Oh, well, geez. the show I didn't like starts the second ah. season. You spilled week, tea on yourself? Well, hold on a second. Mandy, you spilled tea on yourself? Hold on. Hold on. I'll be back. <laughs> <laughs> and she's not even driving. And, and she's not even she's drunk. drunk. She's not even drunk. That's right. Yeah, she is, it's not like she's drinking beer in the back seat. Anyway, what were you saying, Jackie? No, I said the show I didn't like season one. Season two starts this week, The White Lotus. I, I, uh, I didn't like it that much either. I thought it was okay. You well, know, you liked it, Alex. You liked it. I, I thought it was because it was a sucker's bet. It's like a, a 10 episode show in which at the end of it, you're supposed to find out who killed somebody. Yeah. And meanwhile, each episode suspects a different person. And then when you finally get to the end, it's always the person that it was in the first place or something like that. But I mean, it's a sucker's bet. You're watching it to get the answer. Why not do one episode and tell us at the end? You know? How about The Patient? Do we have one episode left? One, one left of The Patient. That's a good oh, show. That's so good. Anybody watching that at all? You're watching yeah. it, right? Well, I, saw, I saw it. And there's another season, of course. Yeah. Another season? Oh, yeah, there is? Yep. Are you sure? Are you serious? Oh, absolutely. Wait a minute. I, you know where I find out? I always go over to IMDb, and then I put in the patient, and then, let's see here, the patient. Pa I don't know what I'm doing with my sunglasses. The patient. Okay, there's the patient. And uh, now we go down here to uh, episodes. There we go. And we go to, and then we go to see, no, they only have one season listed here. It could only be. Yeah, they're wrong. There's a second season already being done. <laughs> really? You mean he doesn't get? I can out? tell you why there's a second season, but I'm not going to spoil it. Well, what, what, that, <laughs> now you you spoiled it anyway by telling us there's a second season. <laughs> so fess up. I got it. The, the killer becomes a psychiatrist. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> It's a great show, by the way. If you, yeah, if you I, would, have, I would watch it if you paid me personally. If you have <laughs> Vernon's <laughs> been very quiet today. Vernon, you haven't said a word. Well, I couldn't get a I couldn't get a word in edgewise. Oh, <laughs> anything else going on? By the way, Lynn, yeah. Lynn, and uh, Lynn and uh, Mandy, I wore this shirt for you today. What does it say? Cabo San Lucas. Cabo. Oh, Cabo San Lucas. Merry Christmas. Yeah. Yeah, I know you guys. Cool. You guys went on vacation down there. Um, yes, the condo that we we're did. staying in, we've been we've been doing this for about six years. And if you, I don't know if you remember or not, when I tried to log in, the Wi-Fi was so terrible that I had to just, you know, not have no, the, the Wi-Fi sucks. The Wi-Fi sucks. But this place, Baba. this place has upgraded, and they've taken out the telephones in all these one-bedroom condos, and for the same price, they've added Wi-Fi to the cable TV. Oh, good. So they've got cable TV and Wi-Fi for the same price that it cost for cable TV and telephone, and nobody used the landline telephones anyway. Right. Very right. good. Very good because it's been a very steady signal. Yeah. 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 It's, uh, I've got I've got yeah. five bars. Yeah. Wow. yeah I, I I do remember that that the that Cabo I couldn't get any service. It was terrible. Wow. Yeah. No, I'm not in Cabo now. I just wore this shirt for you guys. So. Mm. Okay. I'm in. I'm in western. I'm in Western Virginia. As a matter of fact, I can go out on the balcony of my condo here, and I can look to the west and see West Virginia, the the boundary with with West Virginia. Oh, cool. That's very good. Is that near Alaska? <laughs> no. Did you see Russia? No, but I did. I, I did really Russia enjoy my Alaska trip last month. It was really enjoyable. Hey, listen, we're kind of running out of time here, uh, and I, I, I have to make a call now to Shecky. Um, so I, I call him after every show, and my phone's in the other room, Shecky, so it'll take a couple of minutes. But, okay. Uh, I, I, this has been fun again, you know. Yeah. Charlie, good talking to you. Good yes, having sir. you here. It's good having Vernon Nunn here, he, well, there, or wherever he is. Uh, uh, Paul Levin, uh, 
I can't tell you what a great house guest she is, by the way. If anybody <laughs> wants to put her up in your particular neighborhood, <laughs> mm-hmm. she you couldn't do better for a house guest. Okay. Uh, Marjorie Miller, she's a terrible house guest. <laughs> <laughs> Just horrible. By the way, our last show we did is now up to almost 800 views. <laughs> the one we did from the park. You know, Sorry. I don't know what. Huh? I've been the thing in the park. Yeah. I watched it. Did you watch it? Yeah. I watched it. I yeah. watched it. I did. And you still didn't find out who killed Marjorie, did you? <laughs> uh, Mandy, thank you so much. Mm. Rick, thank you. And uh, thanks to thank Jeff Stein. You. Charlene, you haven't said a word, actually, but it's no, always nice. I to came see. in late. It's always nice to see your face. Mm-hmm. Well, thank you, know? you. I just not good at like busting in. <laughs> Well, you know, uh, it, it, you can bust in because on Zoom, other it, it doesn't cut everybody else down. You know, you can just jump in. Right. Uh, and uh, Brian, thank you. And and of course, Len Lafrisco. It's wonderful having lunch with you, and uh, hope you come see us again. And uh, all of you, why don't you give a big wave goodbye, and I'll turn this off. Uh, hey, wait, 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 wait. Oh, 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 excuse oh. me. I always, oh. the thing is, I always, oh, say, I don't do say, him. I don't that. do him because I wait and save him for the end, and then I forget to save him for the end. Uh-huh. And Edward Berger signs us off by saying, That's all, folks. Bye-bye. Bye. See you later. Okay.